Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in Living Color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Wednesday, March 23, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. This is National Poison Prevention Week, but unintentional poisonings happen every day of the year. If you have a poisoning emergency in your home, call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222. In our top story today, Stephen Ray Bixler, 27, of Crawfordsville, was sentenced to eight years in the Indiana Department of Corrections and fined $164 in court costs Tuesday morning. Bixler was convicted of one count of reckless homicide in the shooting of Savannah Ross, age 10, of Crawfordsville. During the hearing, Bixler cried repeatedly and said that he had made, quote, a stupid, stupid decision and that he had turned his life around following three felony convictions in the past nine years. On March 4, 2002, Bixler was convicted of one count of felony theft, and on May 9, 2006, he was convicted of two counts of felony burglary. In related news, a plea agreement between the state and Stephen Bixler of Crawfordsville had been sealed before Tuesday's sentencing. At Tuesday's sentencing in the Montgomery County Circuit Court, the plea agreement was made public. The sealed agreement had been noted in an earlier news story and mentioned in letters to the editor to the paper. After the hearing, the Montgomery County Prosecutor Joe Boozer explained that all plea agreements are sealed to protect the rights of the defendant and the state. On a lighter note, dozens of students aged 5 to 7 filled the hallways of Hose Elementary School on Monday as they prepared to enter the gym and perform the annual Fine Arts Night. It's an event that has been held each year going back to the reorganization of the Crawfordsville Elementary Schools. The Fine Arts Night consisted of a musical performance by all four kindergarten classes, displays of visual art created by the students, and a book fair in the school's media center. Through the end of the NCAA tournament, our paper trivia questions will be all about basketball. If you're a basketball trivia buff, just click on this tile on our homepage to go to the paper trivia section. If you answer the question correctly, you could win. The Ahead Coalition will participate in Kick Butts Day today. There's a free lunch for smokers who want to kick the habit. The special lunch event will be from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Pizza Hut at 1501 South Grant Avenue in Crawfordsville, and smokers who enroll in the Quit Smart Secession program during Kick Butts Day will be treated to a free pizza lunch buffet, courtesy of the local AHEAD Coalition. Hope you enjoy today's weather. Even though we are forecasted to have thunderstorms, the temperatures are still expected to be near 70 degrees. Enjoy it while it lasts, because starting Thursday, temperatures will be back in the 40s with a chance of snow flurries and wintry mix. We'll leave the details to Paul Poteet, who will be with us with a full forecast in just a few moments. When Stephen Ross took the stand during Stephen Bixler's sentencing on Tuesday, he admitted that part of him wanted Bixler to be punished to the fullest extent of the law, but he said, quote, as a Christian, I'm forgiving. Stephen Ross of Linden was Samantha Ross's biological father. Samantha died following a gunshot wound on September 4, 2010, in a bedroom of her home. Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Tuttle Middle School's Donna Wilson. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website. Paper News 24-7 is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips. The Poison Center provides free treatment and prevention advice 24 hours a day. Local weather with Paul Poteet in Studio B and local sports with Candace Rorman are both up next. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Goulds Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Goulds will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Goulds will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Ghoul's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. Time for a Montgomery County weather update from Paper News 24-7. And I'm Indiana's weatherman, meteorologist Paul Poteet, coming to you from Studio B and sponsored by Gould Body and Paint. 
where their business is a wreck. Diana and Don, ready to help you out today. The phone number is 364-1067, 364-1067. They're on Wayne Town Road. If you listen real closely, and if I'm real quiet, you'll hear the birds singing, which you won't hear much more because the windows are going to have to be closed around your place over the next few days. Colder air is coming back into central Indiana. The reason why is low pressure dragging a cold front through today. So Wednesday, a day of change, and we'll start by taking a look at the general national map. There is a huge area of snow going on today in many locations. The snow heaviest from around, oh, say, parts of New York back into Michigan and then eventually back into Wisconsin. Heavy snow is possible in those locations. It's been a mess this week around Detroit. That's how close all of this is to us. Now, we're not expecting any accumulating snow, but we are expecting some colder air to come. There's the afternoon snapshot of where the cold front is, and it's already, as you can see, they're moving through the state. Now, let's zoom that in a little bit and show you a map that kind of concentrates central Indiana. This afternoon at 2 o'clock, the cold front has just cleared Montgomery County. So we may reach our highest temperature not too long after lunch and then start to gradually feel it fall as the cooler air rolls in. And temperatures this afternoon will only get into the mid-60s, and again, by the time we get into the afternoon, that may begin to fall. The biggest storms today are likely to come to the east of us because the best potential for severe weather is to the east of the cold front in the afternoon hours. Well, that would rule out Montgomery County. So some severe weather may pop south and east of Indianapolis today. So there you see the weather map. A huge difference in temperatures today. The upper 50s in the northern part of central Indiana to the low 70s. And the southern part in between here, we're into the mid 60s. All right, now we'll take it from today and into the next couple of days. That extended outlook with colder air rolling in. First of all, a map for Thursday and Thursday night. The number on the left, the high temperature. The number on the right, the low temperature. You can see for yourself, uh, it's going to be pretty chilly. Upper 30s to around 40 for us on Thursday. Thursday should be a nice day, day though, partly to mostly sunny. Then we get into a drearier Friday with rain chances. And by Friday night... You can see from that map, maybe a little rain and snow mixed. So here's the forecast, all put together from paulpotit.com, where you can get the latest radar, interactive radar throughout the day, and you may need it because there will be some periods of showers and thunderstorms around that you'll want to double check. It'll be breezy today, winds gusting up to 30, maybe even 40 miles an hour, a high in the mid-60s. The forecast then is dry and around 40 on Thursday with a rain chance and around 40 again on Friday, Friday night into very early Saturday morning. That rain could mix with some snow showers. Most of Saturday, though, should be dry. And there you can see another chance of rain and or snow next Monday or Tuesday with temperatures that will continue to be below the average. And we'll continue to give you updates on all of it. Hope to see you then. Keep watching for the latest local news, weather and sports. Paper news 24-7 will continue in just a few moments. I'm meteorologist Paul Poteet.com. I'm Bob Zahn of Zahn's Floor Covering. And floor covering is our passion for your home. At Zahn's, we offer ceramic, granite, marble, laminates, and beautiful natural hardwoods. And we do them better than anyone else. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering, see the flooring possibilities available to your home. All backed by personal service, professional installation, and a three-year warranty. Come by Zahn's Floor Covering today and see why we want to be everywhere you walk. I'm Candace Horn with your local sports for Wednesday. The Crawfordsville baseball team hasn't even started their 2011 season officially yet, but they're still getting some nods in preseason polls. The Athenians are ranked fifth in the 2011 Indiana High School Baseball Coaches Association preseason poll. They will also face several people throughout the season that received preseason rankings of their own. The Lady Athenians did not hit well on Tuesday night and fell to a strong Westfield team. Westfield junior Lindsey Bean pitched a no-hitter for the away squad. The Athenians will next hit the field when they host Rockville next Tuesday. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Wednesday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper in Montgomery County. 
For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Roman. You stay classy, Carpentersville. Thank you.